And now I'm going to uh, talk about uh, specifically how we saw the benefits of using CNDR uh, to detect uh, a, basically a zero day attack or a one day attack when we saw attackers using the log4j vulnerability to uh, actually perform an attack on our honeypot environment. So uh, around a month ago, the Nautilus team uh, as part of their threat intelligence efforts created a honeypot environment, basically a server that is uh, uh, containing uh, uh, a Tomcat workload that is uh, affected by the log4j vulnerability and it's open to the web. Um, and what we saw in, is that after about 10 minutes from starting this workload, it was already attacked by an uh, attacker that is scanning the web for vulnerable uh, workloads. Uh, but what we did as well is to place an Aqua agent with the CNDR enabled on the honeypot itself. So uh, we got to see exactly what uh, uh, an Aqua user will see in case that his environment is attacked. Um, so what we see here is the attacker uh, uses a malicious Java class as part of uh, exploiting this vulnerability, which causes uh, um, uh, downloading several parts uh, from his command and control server. Uh, some of them contain a fileless execution and lastly, uh, installing a mushtick malware on the workload to sustain its uh, hold on this affected environment. And this is what we saw from our protector side. So using our detection capabilities with behavioral analysis, we saw uh, detection of using wget in order to download parts of the attack. You can see in the evidence on the right side exactly the commands that are being used in the attack. We see that a new executable was dropped to the machine to slash temp, which is uh, a way for attackers to uh, evade the defenses, to masquerade themselves. And um, the execution of a malicious binary thread for memory, which also is a uh, known malicious behavior. Uh, all of this is new detection capabilities with the behavioral analysis. Uh, we have the existing uh, protection capabilities with drift prevention because we saw that a new file was downloaded to the disk that wasn't there on the image originally uh, and that uh, it was uh, attempting to run. In this case, we ran it in audit mode in order to see the complete attack flow but in a protected environment that runs drift prevention in block mode, the attack would have been stopped right at this moment. And the last new capability that we saw here is the advanced malware protection that actually detects this specific malware, malware that was downloaded to the environment, provides our customer with the ability to automatically delete it and block the execution together with the evidence of the hash of the specific malware so they can uh, go and check this as a part of the forensics uh, uh, analysis that is being performed after uh, this kind of uh, incidents. Uh, so this sums up the new capabilities and what the agent is now capable of uh, detecting and stopping basically the most advanced attacks that are out there right now.